Oi, 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 data part here. Found out about the, the preview for SSMS 21 being available now for download last night, and I had to jump in right away. But I didn't want to do it alone. So I'm going to record this quick video of just some initial looks at this product, and uh, we'll see what this new version looks like. All right, here I am. I at least tagged it to my, my taskbar here. I tried to not do anything beyond that. All right. Ooh, new, new UI here. That looks nice and pretty. Okay, very nice blue. Looks like they did a little bit of a UI update. Lines look a little bit cleaner. Um, got the nice preview button here. All right. Um, I imported my settings from the last one, so I'm just going to go into my local host. Okay, looks like we get that up and running. Uh, got our databases here. A little bit cleaner. All right, that's cool. Um... Let's see, how does this look with, uh, let's do just like a top thousand of this. Okay, let's see what that looks like. All right, looks like the font might be a little bit, uh, what is this over here? Oh, is that showing like the, oh, that's showing the actual script, but like actually showing the details of it. Let me get in and scroll that. Okay, I can scroll up and down so it starts to scroll, okay. What does that look like with a larger file? Let's see, control O. Um, let's see, let's grab my, you know, let's grab this really long script. Wow, that is a lot of content, but it very quickly shows even a long script, the detail of it. Okay, cool. So at least here, uh, we've got that. Oh, and the one thing, I'm assuming it's in here, tools, options. Where is that theming? Oh, there it is. There it is. There's our dark theme. All right, let's watch this and see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. Um, I don't have any SQL shades. I don't have anything here. Okay, I can select and deselect there. That's nice. Wow, that already is so much easier to see. And they took the one advice I had for them in my one video where notice up here, it doesn't have all of the files or it doesn't have all the server database information. That's all there. So these these tabs are nice and clean. I don't have to remove anything. Um, awesome. Okay, at least the last thing I have to check here is Copilot. They said there was going to be a Copilot here. Where do I find... Where do I find the copilot? Copilot, copilot. Okay, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Uh nope. Let me get Okay, get integration. Okay, that's right there. I'll have to explore that later on. Um Where is Copilot? Where do I find that? Hmm. At least finding the copilot doesn't seem as easy as I would have hoped. This is that up here. Oh, well, we can place tabs on the place tabs on the right. Oh, okay. We can place tabs on the right and on the left, and leave it up on the top. Okay, some more tab organization. All right, that's awesome. But where is copilot? Come on. Okay, execution plans. Activity monitors right there. All right, so maybe I'll have to leave that for the next video, but already this UI looks a whole lot better. This is this is exciting. This is super exciting. Oh, and I'm logged into Oh, I can share my profile across systems. That's awesome. All right, that's cool. I like that. Okay. Well, um Okay, I can't find the co-pilot, so I'm going to have to do some research and find that, but at least the rest of this, ooh, this looks good. Okay, I'll uh, probably post some more content about this as I get more into the product, but for right now, Databard, see you in the next chapter.